All right, everybody. Today we are unboxing the Acer Nitro 5. And I gotta say, the box looks rather nice, to be honest. So the version I have right here that we're gonna be unboxing is the 15.6 inch Intel i7 11800H processor with 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte of SSD, and it's got an RTX 3070 inside it, and it's got a 144 hertz display. I'm really looking forward to using this device, considering this is just over a thousand pounds in the UK. Well, I managed to get it for just over a thousand pounds in the UK, and I'm expecting great things from this device. One quick thing before we continue with the video, and that is I want to ask for your help. And I really hope all of you watching this video right now will support me in my request. And that is, I really want to grow this channel. I really want to do this full time, but I can only do that with all of your support. And it's really simple for you to support. And there are two ways of doing it. One is by hitting that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing, but really helps me out. Uh, and honestly, I'll be happy with you just doing that one thing and supporting the channel that way, just helping it grow further. Uh, the second way you can support is by going onto my Patreon and signing up for one of the memberships there. Now there are two memberships currently available, well technically there's three, but don't worry about the third one, my channel's not big enough for what I want to do. The third membership that I've got planned is to um, have people who are in that tier of membership to give away free stuff and everything, but don't worry about that one for now. I need to grow my channel first and for me to do that, uh, for the bigger picture of the MIA log, I need to grow my channel first. So honestly, I'm not too fast if you go onto my Patreon and support that way. Uh, what I'd really appreciate is a simple subscribe to my channel. Ignore the bell icon. I don't want to bombard your feed. I don't want to bombard you with notifications. So just a simple press of that subscribe button. I'm a tech enthusiast, automotive enthusiast, and a gaming enthusiast. So if any of those things are things that you like, then yeah, hit that subscribe button. Just keep me in your feed. And if you see one of my videos that you want to watch, just click on it. So I really hope you will support me by subscribing to my channel. And yeah, let's continue on with the video. Alrighty, let's get my beautiful knife. Cut this baby open. All right, this is a, it's a strong box. Right, so we've got, I'm assuming the charging brick and everything in here. So I'm just gonna place this out. That's quite cool. I like, even though I don't like these things, I like how it's actually surrounding the laptop. That's pretty nice. Um, so this is made from 100% recycled LDPE. So it's nice to know that they've made it from recycled material. If I put this down, then you're also supplied with Acer step, uh, setup guide. You've got an EU declaration, this over here, which is a bunch of stickers and your warranty guide. The stickers and everything, that's actually quite nice to have. So inside here, we've got a HDD upgrade cable. This is a very nice um, inclusion with the package. That's nice to see. And then you've got the charging cable. And then you've got the charging brick. And then you're also provided with the screws to hold in the hard drive that you put in. We have the main device. Oh, it's got a nice weight to it. It's, it's a heavy device, definitely. Right, let's get it out. Oh, that was, a, I'm not gonna lie to you, that was nice. The, the way that just came out of the packaging there, that was really nice. I love this design here. This design is really cool. And I like how they've got the power um, pull right at the back there, right in the middle. It's really looking nice. I, I'm actually really liking the design of this. It's very gamer. Um, it's not so much incognito where most of the devices I've been reviewing recently have been very incognito. Like you can't tell that they're gaming devices where this, if you look at it, you know it's a gaming device. I'm not sure if you can see that right now, but even this hinge going along the entire back has a very sharp edge there. And then you've got all these very aggressive looking fan designs, which remind me somewhat of a, of a Lamborghini's Air Vents, which is 
quite cool. And I like how it says Nitro along the back there. The build quality doesn't feel so premium, but design wise, and for the price you pay for it, I'm not expecting it to have a super build quality. So I'm actually still very happy with this. Along the left hand side of the device, you have a Kensington lock port, a ethernet port, two HDMI 3.0s and a head headphone jack. Along the right hand side, you have a USB type C port, a USB 3.0 and a HDMI. As a design factor, I would have liked to have seen that HDMI port at the back because if you're plugging this into a monitor or anything like that, you don't really want what I like to call permanent cables along the side of the machines. So anything like a permanent cable, like the power, the HDMI, maybe a USB or two, I would prefer them being placed at the back. But other than that, you've got ample connectivity happening here and you've got nice air vents along the side as well. So you should be getting ample airflow in here. All right, let's have a look at the bottom. The bottom's looking very nice as well. You can see a lot of air vents happening. I'm assuming these are going to be the speaker vents. And you've got some cool design elements here as well. What does that actually say? It says warning, surface hot. So this area is going to be getting hot. It's got uh, ample rubber lift happening around the machine. So when you do place it down, you're going to have enough lift of the laptop to ensure it's getting enough airflow at the bottom over here, which is nice to know. So let's open it up. Right, so we have some labeling over here. So there's actually a sticker right here that tells you that this has dual M2, uh, M.2 supports uh, plus an additional HDD slot if you want to put a HDD inside here. H Acer Nitro Sense and Cool Boost, which I'm assuming is going to be helping with the cooling of the device. You've got Killer Double Shot Pro, so that uses the benefit of the Ethernet cable and the wireless. And then you've got a dual fan with quad exhaust ports, which is always good to know. And then you've got immersive gaming audio happening with a HDMI port. And this is, like I said, powered by an Intel i7 and an RTX 3070. If you look around the actual device itself, you can see that the WASD keys are highlighted in a very standout white border. Like it really stands out. I'm not sure how much you can tell on the camera there, but that really stands out when you're looking at it. And along the bottom of the actual keys, they've actually got white um, lining around the base. So if you look at it from a lower angle, you can actually see that it just makes the keys pop a bit more, which is pretty cool, I guess. And then along the top, you've got some function keys. So you've got sleep, you've got your standard, um, screen mirroring functions, brightness control, mute control, speaker mute control, RGB increase, decrease, and this end button here, which I want to find out what that means afterwards. You've got media controls over here, and then you've got volume up and down again over here. And then you've got your display brightness happening over here, which again, you'll be controlling with the function keys. All right, let's see if the device has any power on it. Doesn't seem like it does. You do have a power indicator over here. All right, so in this machine, you are able to upgrade the SSD. So let's get inside it and let's see what it's like. Okay, using a different toolkit today to what I normally use. Let's have a look inside this machine. And damn, there are a lot of screws. You've got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bloody screws to take out. Could have done with less screws, guys, no? Make sure, as always, when you are removing the back of any laptop or any equipment that you are using prying tools and you are on a soft surface. Now I can see there's a, is there any opening anywhere that we can start from? Ok, 
here just make sure you note that over here the chassis for the bottom goes underneath it doesn't go through on top so make sure you're not peeling from the top so take away from the bottom okay I'd suggest I'd suggest starting at the corners since you have access there already to take away or pull away even and then from here use the prying tool all right and there we have it the inside of the Acer Nitro Now this is quite interesting, you've got here what looks like M.2 housings, not sure why they're there, so these are the air vents, you've got cooling material placed on this one, but there's only one M.2 here, you have another M.2 slot over here, there's actually very little thermal paste on here, if you see my other videos when I've unboxed other devices they have a lot more thermal paste on here helps distribute the heat you've got the Wi-Fi card you've got two RAM slots over here and as I mentioned earlier you can actually put an extra SSD in here and you'll provide the cable over here um, just so everyone knows how to do it I'll just quickly show you you have the cable over here which you then see this over here you need to lift this up not sure how clear that was or even if you're able to see what I just did there. What I'll do is I'll move this camera so you can get a better view. So you have this little flap over here which I just lifted up. So once you lift that up, you simply just place this inside and then lower the flap. Once you've lowered the flap, you can then plug this end into your SSD or your HDD. So as I mentioned earlier you can put another M.2 over here if you wanted to and there's the housing screw for it if you wanted to put one in. Um, you can also upgrade the RAM if you wanted to and as always to upgrade RAM is pretty simple. You just simply pull the two prongs aside and that lifts the RAM out of place. Just simply take it out, get your new RAM and place it back in. Just make sure when you're placing it back in that the slit in the RAM matches the slit point in the actual component input and then simply push down and it will hold into place. So that's what the inside of the machine looks like. Now let's put it all back in. So you want to start with the front first, make sure you get that all in and then press the back in. Just make sure everything is in nice and flush and then once you've done that we just put all the screws back in right right so that is the end of my unboxing and first impressions of the Acer Nitro 5 um, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to check out my full review which I'll be doing later on I'll be testing how it performs under different games how it performs in battery usage and then I'll be giving you my overall score on this device out of 80 letting you know whether you should be buying this or even who should be buying this device if you did enjoy the video please do leave a thumbs up and please do consider actually subscribing to the channel because it helps the channel out quite a lot thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one bye